Are you a freelancer, a designer, a marketer, or are you a skilled person who's looking for a job? And if you don't have a portfolio website, then there is a 99% chance that you won't get a job. Let me share my personal experience with you. So far, I have done nearly 1200 plus freelance projects and over 90% of clients of mine came through my portfolio website. Even I have done 100 plus jobs on freelancing marketplaces and 80% of clients asked me this question first. Do you have a portfolio website? So many of you guys always ask me how did I land so many freelance jobs where others are suffering to get their first job. Then my number one suggestion would be make your portfolio website before anything. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a portfolio website that will help you to attract more clients. Even though I have done the hardest part, I have designed the whole website for you. I will provide you the template for free. All you need to do just import the template and replace the text with your own text, adding your own images, your own phone number, email addresses so clients can contact you immediately. To create this amazing website, we will be using a free CMS, a free theme, a free page builder and all free resources. And you don't need to know a single line of coding. We will be creating everything just by drag and drop. So no matter if you haven't made a website before, this tutorial is perfect for you. Let's now have a look at what we're going to make in this tutorial. So first I will show you how to create a header like this here on the left you will put your logo here. And I will also show you without any logo designing experience just by using a free online tool how you can create your own logo by yourself. Then here you will have your page navigations and then on the right side you can put some emergency contact link or call to action buttons. Then here within main banner on the left you can put your name here because of course your name is not Jim Fahad you can replace it with your own name. You can change this text with your own text also you can change the link of this button. Then here on the right side here is the interesting thing. You see there are little floating icon here like Figma icon, Photoshop icon, Illustrator icon. Here I will show you how you can change these icons with your own icons. Because let's say if you are a graphic designer, on that case you should know Figma, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Sketch, this type of software skills. But what if you are not a graphic designer? Let's say you are a web developer. On that case, you can just replace these icons with WordPress icons, Elementor icons, HTML or CSS icons, you know. Then I will show you how you can change the color of this background circle. And then I will show you how you can replace this image with your own image. And another interesting thing is you don't have to have a transparent image like this because I will also show you by using a free online tool how can you turn your any images into a transparent image like this so you can put that image here. Alright, let's now scroll down on the next section you will have your services and just have a look I really love these hover effects. Here you can change the services name with your own services also you can change all of these icons from Elementor library. Then on the right side right underneath the text here you will have your download CV button. So when anyone clicks on this download CV button your CV will be downloaded on their computer directly. Alright and then on the next section here you will have your portfolios. Because you know people love to see your previous works or they want to know what you are capable of. So here you don't necessarily put all your clients work all the time. You can also put some of your practice work here. And you know you can change or replace all these images with your own project's images. And then right after that here is a view all button. So this button will take them to the portfolio page. Then underneath here you can showcase some of the fun facts about yourself. Like how many happy clients do you have, how many projects you have done, how many top reviews you have got, how many years of experience do you have. So you can replace all of this with your own informations. And then underneath here is the testimonial or reviews area. And I must say on your portfolio website the testimonial area is one of the most important areas. Because you may talk about a lot of good things about you, that doesn't matter. The matter is what other people or your clients say about you. 
So always try to put here best feedbacks from your clients. You can write here your client's name, their title, and you can replace these images with your real client's images. And then underneath here, you will have a beautiful call to action area with nice animations. So by clicking on this contact me, that will take us to our contact page. And then on the footer, you can put your logo here again, maybe some copyright text. And also you can put some of your social media links here. And then let's scroll up. Let's go to our next page. That's the portfolio page. You may remember on our home page, we have put our three best projects or portfolios. But here with this dedicated portfolio page, you can put here as many as projects or portfolios you have. The longer the list is better, you know. And this page is all about projects or portfolios. And then I will also show you if anyone clicks on any single project or single portfolio, let's click here on this title or this read more, just click here. That will take them to the single portfolio page. Because let's say if you want to share more details about that project, like the project category or the project's client name, because let's say if you work for a big brand or big company, you of course want to show off that on your portfolio website. And then if you want, you can write some case studies about this specific project. And here is some global call to action and footer. Now let's go to our next page. That's our contact page. So here within this contact page, you can replace this text if you want. And here you can put your phone number, your email addresses. And then on the right side, you will have your beautiful contact form. So your clients just need to put their name here, their email address. And within this field, they will write the message or the job description. And then when they will click on the send to me button, you will receive all this information directly on your email inbox. Can you believe we will be doing all of this without doing a single line of coding? I'm really excited. If you are excited like me, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. It would mean the world to me. All right, we will be creating this beautiful portfolio website in easy four steps. First, I will show you how to get your own domain name and web hosting. Also, I will provide you a 50% discount link. Then we will install a free page builder. Then we will install a free theme. And finally, we will start customizing our amazing portfolio website. Also, I will be adding a timestamp in the description so you can always jump to the necessary part you need. Let's now start with the step number one, which is to get your domain name and web hosting. So first of all, what is a domain name? Domain name is basically your website address. Like Facebook has facebook.com, Amazon has amazon.com, I have jimfahaddigital.com. Similarly, for your website, you need an address that will be yourwebsitename.com. And what is web hosting? Web hosting is the storage space for your website. All the images, texts you will have in your website, all will be stored on your own web hosting. As you are owning your own web hosting, so there wouldn't be any limitation. You can run ads, you can upload any text or images, you can upload any themes or plugins you want. You are the in charge of your own website. Okay, now how to get your own domain name and web hosting. So first, just click on the very first link in the description below this video or you can go to jimfahaddigital.com forward slash hosting and this will take you to a special discounted Bluehost page. So why Bluehost? In my opinion, Bluehost is the best web hosting provider. I'm a web developer. I tried so many other web hosting companies. I don't want to mention their name, but I personally ended up using Bluehost. Hundreds of my clients using Bluehost and they never complain about using it. If you see my Bluehost account, I have hosted tons of websites here and I never get a downtime. Their customer support is really cooperative in case you need any help and their price is really affordable. That's why I always recommend Bluehost. So now click on get started. Here you can see their different plans. The main difference between them with the basic plan, you can host only one domain. You can take their plus or choice plus plan if you want to host unlimited domains. Also, you can take their pro plan if you have millions of visitors on your website already. I recommend starting with the basic plan. Then in future, you can upgrade that anytime. Now let's select the basic plan. 
Now we will select our domain name. If you already have a domain name that you want to use, you can just go ahead here on the right. But for now, I'm gonna get a new one. Now here, let's try for something like apple.com and click next. It says the domain apple.com cannot be used on Bluehost. Please try a different domain name. It should be because we cannot take that because we all know that's Apple's official website. So we will be typing our own domain name here. And also, if you click on the right side, you can see .site, .net, .info websites. I always recommend to take .com websites because it looks more professional and legit. So I'm gonna type here, let's say our elementor.com as we are going to make our website through Elementor page builder. And now click on next. It says our elementor.com is available. That's awesome. And here we need to put our account information. I'm putting mine here really fast only to not make you bored. Okay, here you can see the business name field. If you don't have a business, just keep it blank or put your full name. But here's the most important thing. That's your email address. Make sure you put your correct email address because after completing purchase, a receipt will be sent to that email address. So make sure you put your best email address here. All right, now scroll down. Here's the package information and it's automatically set to 36 months and this is gonna be your cheapest plan so yes you're paying for 36 months upfront but it comes out to only around three dollar 95 cents a month so this is 50 percent off that's gonna be your biggest discount now what i recommend is to just do 12 months if you don't want to commit to the 36 months or 24 months it's still 33% saving and it's only around $5.95 a month. And you also have your domain name for 12 months. So no more additional cost for your domain for these 12 months. And here you got package extras. First, here's the option for domain privacy. Having domain privacy is good. And I always recommend having domain privacy. So no one gets to know who is the owner of the website. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm deselecting this one. Let's click on turn it off. Because I don't want to hide myself at this moment. I want to be transparent. So if anyone knows I own this website, I have no problem. You can keep this one checked if you want. Not a big deal. I'm also deselecting all other options they're offering. We actually don't need that. They are just upselling their stuff. All right. Now you can see the price is now only $71.40 for the full year, including the domain. That's awesome. And I'm legally obligated to tell you that this is my affiliate link. So I do get a little bit of commission off of this, but it does save you a ton of money and it helps fund these free YouTube tutorials what I'm doing. So everybody wins. I really appreciate it. And here is the payment information. I'm putting my credit card number here, expiration date and CVV code. Then select this one here so that you are agreed to their terms and policy. Now click on submit. It says your purchase was a success. Also, you can see here is your receipt. They will also send it to your email. I'm also waiting to get that email. Meantime, we can create our Bluehost account. So let's click on this create account button here. Here's the domain name that's automatically selected. Now let's create our password. Create a really strong password combining capital letters, numbers, special characters. You know how to make a strong password and then retype the password in the second field. Now check this once again that you have agreed with their terms and policy. Now click on create account. I already have received an email to confirm my purchase. So I'm opening my email. You will also get an email like this. Then click here, verify your email. It's very important. So it's now verified. Awesome. 
Now let's log in into our Bluehost account with the domain name and password we have just created. If you are logging in for the first time, you may see a pop-up like this. Like it says, let's create a website. Bluehost actually want to help you to make the website. Just click at the very bottom there. I'm not creating a website because I will be showing you everything step by step and skip all of these pop-ups because we don't need any of that. Cool, we have successfully registered our domain name and web hosting. Congratulations! So far if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to help you personally. So now we can move on to step number two, which is to install WordPress. And for some reason, if you logged out, then log in again. Now from left menu bar, click on my sites. Then you can click here, create site or here, create a WordPress site. I'm clicking here. Sometimes after clicking on my sites, you may see this my sites. From there, just click here on add site. Then you can see here two options. One is limitless customization and another one is fast, easy site building. As we will be creating our website using an amazing page builder, the Elementor page builder, that's why we will be selecting this option, the limitless customization. So just click here on get started. So let's now add a site name and site tagline. We can change that anytime. So I'm putting a site name Jim Fahad production and site tagline, it deserved to be seen. Now let's click on advanced. Here you need to put your email address, your username and password for your WordPress. So I'm putting my email address here. WordPress admin username, I want to name it Jim Fahad. And here let's put a password. Do you want to see my password? I'm clicking here on show. So it's ABC123. I will of course show you how you can change it later. So for now, click on next. Close this browser pop up. Now it says where we want to install our WordPress. So make sure you keep this directory blank. And here is your domain name selected. And Bluehost here is suggesting some free plugins, but we don't need that. Let's deselect this all. Now click next. Awesome. It says WordPress installed successfully. Now you can copy this information right here and save that somewhere on your computer where you can access it again later. And click here to show your password. Actually, I intentionally gave this an easy password that's ABC123. Never ever use this kind of easy password. I'm showing you shortly how you can change that password. We can now sign into WordPress by clicking here. But this is not the usual way because all the time you cannot log in this way. I mean from this page, this button, right? So you should get used to signing into WordPress all the time is by going up to a new window and typing in your domain name forward slash WP dash admin. So I'm typing here my domain name ourelementor.com forward slash WP dash admin and click enter. So we can see our WordPress login page here. That means WordPress has installed successfully. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes to 24 hours to process this installation and this process is called propagation. It basically has to let everyone know that, hey, this new domain name now exists and registered, but we can see our website instantly. They actually say it might take 30 minutes to 24 hours, but I've been using Bluehost for more than 10 years. I always get domain live immediately. Actually, that's another reason why I love Bluehost. So now you know that your domain name is working. So go ahead and I'm um, just gonna type in my name, which was the user that I created. And I'm gonna type that easy password, ABC123. You can click this eye icon to show it. Now let's click on login. So right now we are inside WordPress admin panel or WordPress dashboard. Now first I want to make you familiarize with all these options like this dashboard, the posts, media, pages, appearance, plugins, users and all other basic settings. So don't get overwhelmed at all these are super basic, super easy. But now the first thing I want to do, I want to clean up the WordPress dashboard because personally I love to work in a clean working environment. So to do it from here, let's first go to dashboard. 
Like here you see, here are lots of unnecessary pop-ups, notifications, I don't want these. So you know, we can just simply click on this X to remove them from our dashboard or you know what, we can do another simple trick from here, click on the screen options. And from here, we can just deselect all of these options because actually on our main dashboard, we don't need this. Let's deselect this one as well. See, right now it looks much cleaner. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do, I wanna change that easy password, that ABC123. Okay, so to change that easy password from left, let's now hover over on users, from there, click on profile. And you know, from here, if you want, you can change the admin color scheme, like this one is the default one, but if you want, you can change it to light or modern or blue you see these are nothing crazy you can only see this theme color here and i just wanna keep the default one this one so from here i actually wanted to change my password so to do it just scroll down at the very bottom of this page right here under account management here you see there is the option for new password so just click on set new password you can use this password that wordpress is suggesting is of course super strong but i don't wanna use it so first of all, let's hide it and here I'm typing my password. All right, it says medium, but I'm okay with it. So let's just scroll down and from here, click on update profile. And next, I wanna clean up my WordPress dashboard more. So to do it from left, let's now hover over on plugins. From there, go to installed plugins. Actually, all these plugins has came with default WordPress installation. But I don't want any of them. So from here, let's just select one by one like this, or we can select all of them by checking this one. Now from here top, click on bulk action. First of all, I'm making it deactivate, then click on apply. So all the plugins are now deactivated. Let's now select all of the plugins together by clicking here. And this time from bulk action, let's now click on delete and click on apply. The browser pop-up says I'm sure or not. Yes, I'm sure. So click on OK. So our all unnecessary plugin has been deleted. By the way, if you wonder what is a WordPress plugin, WordPress plugin is basically extra add-on or extra app-like things that extends the functionality of your website. And of course, we will be using some plugins on our website, but these plugins, we don't need any of them. Now I want to clean up my website more. So to do it from here, the left bar hover over on pages to click on all pages. Here also we can see some dummy pages that came with WordPress default installation, but I don't want any of these pages. So let's just select all of them together by checking here. Now from the bulk action, click on move to trash and apply. So if we now go back to our WordPress dashboard, you see, it looks much, much cleaner now. Okay, now before moving forward, I wanna make you familiar with another two terms. That is the backend or our WordPress dashboard and another one is the frontend. So basically the backend or WordPress dashboard means what you can see right now here. Because this is the admin panel only, we can see this part because we are the admin of this website. Now from here, from this left top here, we can see our site name and when you hover over on it, we can see visit site. If we now open this visit site from a new tab, now have a look here. This is the front end of our website. The whole world can see this portion of the website. By the way, you can see this black bar at the top. Actually, the visitors cannot see this black bar. You can see it because you are the admin and you are logged in at this moment. So in short, this is the front end of our website or this is the real website and this is the back end or our WordPress dashboard. Only we admins can access this dashboard. Okay, now I wanna install and activate some necessary plugins for this website. So to do it from here, hover over on plugins and from there, click on add new. In our website, the first ever plugin I want to install, that's Elementor Page Builder. So let's search for the plugin from here, from this search bar. Here I'm typing Elementor and here we go. It says Elementor Website Builder. Let's now click on install now, then click on activate. So just after installing Elementor Page Builder, it asks for giving us some more information like creating a free Elementor account but at this moment I don't want to do any of this. So from the right top corner I'm clicking on this X. 
then the next plugin I want to install so to install that from here on the plugin so what if on that and click on add new this time I want to install a plugin that we will be using for making our contact forms so from here I'm searching for the plugins that's WP forms and here you go this is the plugin it says contact form by WP forms click on install now now let's click on activate all right let's now install our next plugin from the plugins click on add new this time i'm searching for essential add-ons here we go it says essential add-ons for elementor click on install now and then click on activate now here just stay with me let's select the basic option for the essential add-ons let's now go to next and here this one is important so from under the elements tab let's here i'm searching for the wp forms i cannot see it here so click on view all let's now scroll down and yep here we go it says wp forms here so i'm turning it on and i'm saying it again it's very important don't forget to turn it on the wp forms option let's now scroll down now click on next I don't want any of these pro options so click on next click on next again I don't need any of these plugins so click on next for now I'm clicking on no thanks and yep it says congratulations all right now from left if we go to plugins to install the plugins we can see we have now three plugins installed and activated that's elementor essential add-ons for elementor and another one is WP firms light Probably at the beginning, I told about four plugins, but for now, these three plugins are sufficient. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I want to install and activate our website's theme. Basically, the theme is the look and feel of your website. Like if we now go to the front end of our website, you see our website is looking like it at this moment. Now, I want to change the look and feel of our website. And like I said, to do it we need to change the theme of our website so from our wordpress dashboard from the left menus hover over on appearance from there click on themes and again all these themes are basically came with wordpress default installation but i don't want to use any of these plugins oops not plugins i don't want to use any of these themes instead i want to use a very lightweight theme because of course I want my website's speed super fast. That's why from here I'm clicking on this big add new theme button. And then from this theme library I'm searching for extra theme. Here you go. This one is the extra theme. From here let's click on install. And then click on activate to activate the extra theme. Now have a look. If we now go to the front end of our website and refresh the page see the look and feel of our website has been changed i know still it's looking super boring super ugly but no worries we will be making our beautiful portfolio website out of it okay let's now go back to our wordpress dashboard because now i wanna create some pages of course at this moment those will be empty pages but let's just create the pages so to create any page we just need to hover over on these pages and from there let's click on add new and here before creating the page sometimes you may see your this portion of the dashboard might look like this because from these three vertical dots the full screen mode might turned on on that case you can see it like this but personally i don't like it that much so to get rid of the full screen view from here from the right corner just click here and disable the full screen mode Okay, so here, first of all, I want to create our home page. So within the title, I'm typing home. Now from the right top corner, click on publish and click on publish one more time. So we have created our home page. Now I want to create our next page. So from pages, click on add new. This time I want to create our portfolio page. Now click on publish, click on publish one more time. And then let's create our next page. Click on add new and this time i want to create our contact page now click on publish and click on publish one more time all right now from under pages click on all pages 
we have created these three pages one is home another one is portfolio and the last one is contact okay now here have a look we have named the page home but now we need to tell wordpress we want to set this home page as our home page actually it's pretty simple just from here hover over on settings from there click on reading then from here it says your home page displays i just want to set it to a static page and then i want to select the home page the home page we have just created so i'm selecting the home now let's scroll down and click on save changes so what does it mean if we go to the front end of our website by default it's showing the blog post page but we wanted to display here the custom home page just we have created and from our settings we have selected the home page to a static page and made the home page to our newly created home page now have a look if we refresh the page that's our elementor.com our main domain url so it's getting the home page we can understand it easily because from here it says home now one last thing let's go to wordpress dashboard from here under settings let's click on permalinks because you see by default the permalink is set to plain so if we keep the permalink to plain then our other pages url would look something bizarre like this but i don't want that because this is not search engine friendly absolutely so from here instead of plain i'm making it to postname now let's scroll down and click on save changes and you know what i actually hate all these pop-ups i'm just clicking on no thanks because these are just distracting all right so we have completed all the necessary settings now i want to create our first page so from pages let's go to all pages i want to start with our home page and you know we will be creating our home page by using elementor page builder but before doing that i just wanna make two major settings that is from here hover over on elementor from there click on settings the first settings i wanna do from under advanced tab it says enable unfiltered file uploads by default it's disable but i'm making it to enable let's scroll down and click on save changes and then the next settings from under experiments tab let's scroll down because in this tutorial we wanna use the latest flexbox container model so from here it says flexbox container i just wanna select it as active now scroll down and i'm clicking on save changes all right now from the left bar hover over on pages again and go to all pages so like i said i want to start from the home page now from here click on edit and you know we will be creating our home page by using elementor page builder so from top let's just click on this big button that says edit with elementor so right now we are inside elementor page builder here at the top we can see our header and at the bottom we can see our footer and within the header and footer we can see this is the elementor canvas and on the left side everything we can see all these are elementor elements or elementor widgets most of them are free but if you scroll down here are some pro widgets or elements like the form slides login nav menu animated headlines but in this particular tutorial i wanna use all the free elementor widgets but let's say if you wanna use the elementor pro widgets i will also put elementor pro purchase link in the description for the moment i'm just minimizing the pro features so here all the widgets you are seeing all are free actually working with elementor page builder is super fun and super easy here first let me give you an example how this elementor page builder works if you understand the basic you can create any kind of design by yourself so here let's say you wanna create a new section or any new container all you need to do just click on this plus icon then from here you can select any of this structure so for example i'm selecting this row structure so here everything you can see within this blue line this is our container now if you want to increase the height of this container you can control that from here it says minimum height if you just drag this bar to the right you see the height is started increasing if you drag this bar to the bottom the height is decreasing like this then if you want to change the background color of this container you just need to go under style tab 
from here let's select this classic icon and from here open the color picker then from here you can select any color from this color picker also let's drag this color bar for now let's select a dark blue color like this okay let's say if you want to insert any text or any button within this container all you need to do you just need to click on this rubik's cube like icon just click here first i'm dragging the heading widget so the basic term is whenever you want to use any of these elements or widgets you can just drag this from left and drop it within the right canvas here you see this is our heading to change this heading text from here i'm writing jim fahad digital oops jim fahad digital then you can make the alignment to centered from here now go under style tab because i want to show you how you can change the styling of this text from the text color open this color picker you can change its color to any other color white blue or i just want to make it red yep red so this text color is now red now from here if i open the typography just click on this pencil icon you can change the size of the text like this you can make it super big or super small but i'm keeping it like this you can change the font weight from here the bigger the font weight number your text will be more bolder so i'm selecting here 900 you see it's becoming more bolder then from the transform if you want you can make it all uppercase from this style if you want you can make it normal italic or oblique i'm making it italic only to give you an example all right now let's say underneath this heading if you wanna put any button then again click on this rubik's cube icon here yep here is the button widget just drag this button widget underneath this heading widget here now first i wanna make its alignment to centered so from left make the alignment to centered and here the text click here instead of this click here i want it to say view more so from here you see the field is for text so i'm changing it to view more now you can link this button to anywhere like within this website to your other pages or if you want you can link this to your social medias like facebook instagram or any other social medias or if you want you can link it to your any other websites like here just remove this hash i just want to link it with my main website that's https colon forward slash forward slash jim fahad digital dot com so now if anyone clicks on this view more button that will take them to the jim fahad digital dot com it's simple like this now let's go under the style tab to give this button a bit styling so from here let's say if you want to change the behind color or the background color of this button you can do that from here from this color let's open the color picker only to give you an example i'm making its background color to yellowish color like this and now i want to change the text color of this button so from here text color i'm opening the color picker i'm making it to black see how easy it is okay now you have created this button and you have decided to create a similar button like this you don't need to create a button from scratch again all you need to do just right click over this button and click on duplicate you see it's instantly duplicated here now if you want to link this button with another website you can do that from here just remove this and you can link it with any other website you can change the text of this button so instead of the view more i'm just writing here contact me then from under style tab let's just change the background color of this button so i'm making it bluish color and i'm making the text color to white color see how easily you can do this critical stuff by using elementor page builder okay now let's say if you have changed your mind and you no longer need this button then how to delete this button to delete it just right click over here and click on delete it's instantly deleted so in this way if you want you can create or design your whole website by yourself all you need to do just drag the necessary elements or widgets from left then drop it to the right canvas then make the styling on that way you can design your whole website by yourself but like i said earlier in this tutorial i wanna show you how to make your website super fast because i already have created the whole website for you and now i just wanna import the 
pre-made templates within this website. But hey, if you want to learn how to create a full website by yourself, I mean if you want to learn every inches of the Elementor page builder, everything like how to make any spaces, how to play with typographies, how to design a whole website, all the sections, everything by yourself, then I have a complete tutorial that's around 3 hour long. You can watch that, I will put that tutorial's link in the description. Okay, so for this tutorial, I don't want to create everything step by step. I want to use the template that I previously made only for you guys. Okay, so first let's delete this section or container. So to delete it from top, let's click on this X. And now I will be importing the templates. So to import the template, instead of clicking on this plus icon, this time I will be clicking on this folder icon. Now from here, let's click on this top arrow icon it says import template icon click there and here we will be uploading our pre-made templates and to get these templates all you need to do you just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page under important links here you see it says download the images plus templates i use in this tutorial so from here you will get all the images and templates i'm using in this particular tutorial so basically after downloading this you will get a folder like this so one folder is for images here you will find all the images i'm using for this tutorial and there would be another folder that says templates within that you will get a templates zip file and from here you can just unzip this zip file so i'm unzipping it so here within this folder let's open it you see there are some json files okay let's now go inside elementor and from here you can just simply click on this select file now from inside the template folder within this folder for the home page i'm selecting this json file it says jfd-home.json let's select it and open it so here it says jfd freelancer home from here click on this green insert button then click here on apply all right now before doing any other thing the first thing i want to do from the bottom left corner click on this gear settings icon then from here it says page layout let's make it to elementor canvas as we have set our page layout to Elementor Canvas, that's why we cannot see the header that was basically coming from the theme because we don't need that. Also, if we scroll down at the bottom of this page, we can no longer see the footer that was coming from the theme because I already have made a footer for you by using Elementor Page Builder. All right, let's now start from the top from here. By the way, here I want to tell you one thing up front. Some portions of this website, you see, these are seems like broken, but actually they are not. Because on the left, we can see this is the Elementor's place. I mean the Elementor Builder bar. If we minimize the bar from left, now you can see everything is perfect. Nothing is broken anywhere. So don't get worried about any structure because i have triple checked all the styling so nothing is broken anywhere all right let's now open the bar from left now here the very first thing let's have a look on the left we have our logo but it says logo your logo shouldn't say logo of course your logo should say your name or your business name i will show you very shortly how to create your own logo for completely free so i will create that logo and insert the logo inside here all right now have a look on this menus so just click over it you see there are three menu items one is home portfolio and contact if you want to create more menu items you can just click here on add items you see the new item has been added now from here i don't want this icon so let's just delete it and instead of list item let's say if you have any about page so you can create here about and you can link your about pages link here within this link field very simple but i don't want this about list item here so i'm clicking on this x to delete it now here the first thing let's open this home item here from the link i'm removing the hash because i want to link this home with our home page actually this is our home page but i want to link it with this page so to do it if i start writing here home 
you see Elementor suggesting the home page here. So I'm selecting the home page and it gets the home page URL. So I want to do the same thing with other menu items. Open the portfolio here. Remove the hash. I just want to type here our page name. That's portfolio. So here it's suggesting the portfolio page. I'm selecting it. Do the same with contact. Remove the hash from inside the link field. And I start typing here contact and it's suggesting the contact page all right now let's go to the right side here we can see one icon basically is the dribble icon if you are a designer you can use here dribble icon just click over this icon you can link this icon to anywhere like i have selected the dribble icon but if you want to change the dribble icon you can change that from here so it says icon just click over this icon library now let's say instead of dribble if you wanna link any other thing let's say if you wanna link your facebook page you can select facebook if you wanna link your figma you can do that actually you can add any of your social media links from here just select the icon from here and then let's close it and then you just need to put your dribble account link or your facebook account link within this link field here just remove this hashtag and put your social media link all right then on the right side we have our beautiful contact button just click over this button because i wanna link this contact me button with our contact page so from inside the link field i'm removing the hashtag and i start typing here contact and here is our contact page so select the contact page all right now let's scroll down and here the interesting thing is you can change anything within this template if you want to change this introducing text just click over it and change the text from here within this text field you can change it from here if you want to change this hello text just click over it and you can change it from here if you want to change this just click over here and you can change that from here because my name is not x fahad my name is jim fahad so here instead of x fahad i'm writing here i'm um, jim fahad then if you want to put some short summary about yourself then you can write it here just click over here and you can change the text from the left field here now let's scroll down click over this contact button i want to link it with our contact page so let's select the contact page it's done okay now on the right side here we can see some floating icons Actually, you don't need to create any icons by yourself. You can just go to Google and search for icons. So like, let's say if you want to use any Figma icon, if you are a graphic designer and if you are very good at Figma UI UX or if you are very good at Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, then you can collect their logo and you can insert the logo here then let's say if you are a web developer so instead of these icons you can just put html css or any other programming languages icons here so that would represents your skills okay so i just wanna replace this icon just click over it instead of this one let's click on this choose image now from under upload files click on select files from within the images i'm selecting figma icon click on open then insert it here we go now here select this image from here choose the image let's click on upload files click on select files okay let's upload all the icons together so this one this one this one i have selected all them together click on open so they are uploading here and now i want to select the photoshop icon click on insert media here we go and then with this icon select it let's choose the image here i'm adding illustrator icon click on insert media and the last one select this image from here choose the image and i'm selecting the sketch icon click on insert media cool all right the next thing i want to show you how to change the color of this background green circle because it might not match with your brand color also other colors like this introducing colors or any other underneath colors like this so you have all the options to change every color 
but personally i love this green color that's why i kept it green but i'm showing you one way how to change this circle color so here as there are so many images at the same place so we cannot select a specific image properly to do it there is a solution you just need to right click here and click on the navigator so let me just tell you very shortly how this navigator work you can move the navigator anywhere of your page so i'm uh, moving it to the left side so i can see everything properly on the right side have a look here we have lots of images here if i select the first image you see this one is the green circle image if i select the second image this one is this if i select the third you already get it right the next one and here's the next one so basically this one is this big profile image but before doing anything with this image first of all i want to work with the green circle so that's basically this first image let's select it okay here actually you cannot change this green circles color by using any color picker because this is a solid image but there is a little hack to change its color so to do it just go under its style tab from here if we open the css filters just click on this pencil icon let's scroll down actually it's a little hack so if you just change the hue of this image from here let's just drag it you see the circles color is started changing like this so you can play with this hue and when you are happy with any of the specific color you want you can stop at that point also you can play with the saturation from here like this but i love my green brand color that's why i'm keeping here saturation value to 100 and the hue value to zero i'm just showing you the options how you can do it by yourself all right now if you want to change this big profile image of course you can replace this image with your own image to do it just select this image you can select it from here also you can select it from the navigator the last one and then to change this image click on choose image now go to upload files click on select files i'm selecting this one and this one click on open i just want to show you how different images look here okay so if i select this image this girl's image just click on insert media you see this image is looking perfect in this place let's now change it to any other image i'm selecting this image and click on insert media for now we can minimize the navigator just click on this x you see also this image is matching within this place it looks perfect but let me show you another thing let's change the image so i'm clicking here on choose image click on upload files click on select files this time i'm selecting another image that is not transparent so i'm selecting this image click on open and then click on insert media now have a look as i'm not using transparent image this time it's not looking cool now so remember within this place you need to use your transparent image without any background color like this only your image the background should be transparent if you are a graphic designer you can do it very easily by yourself by using any tool like photoshop but let's say if you're not a designer if you don't know how to remove backgrounds by using photoshop or any other tool then don't worry at all because i will show you very shortly how you can make your images transparent without the background color for the moment i'm just going back to previous image this one let's select on insert media all right let's now scroll down and from here you know you can change this contact me button link to any other page oops i already have changed the link all right let's now move to the next section or the next container so here is the services section and like i said before i know these are looking a bit weird because we have the left bar of the elementor here if we minimize the bar from left you see everything is looking much decent now so again don't worry about the design stuff because just keep in mind we have the elementor bar on the left that takes a lot of space okay let's just open the bar from left and from here if you want you can change anything like you can change these icons you can change this text 
I mean this heading and this texts. So from here, let's see instead of this XXX service, I want to change it. So from here, just click over here. Instead of that, I wanted to say, for example, logo design. So I'm changing this text to logo design. Now I wanna also change this icon. So click over this icon. Actually not from here, from the left, click over this icon. And here I'm searching for QIDD, actually this icon, let's select it and insert it. You see it's instantly changed. In the same way, you can change all other services name like product design or app mockup. I don't know what service you provide to your clients. You know it better. You can change all these headings, all this text, all these icons from there. Also, on the right side, you know, you can change all this text, all this paragraph by yourself. And here I want to show you another interesting thing because this button says download CV. So the goal or the purpose of this button is whenever anyone clicks on this download CV button, your downloadable CV will be downloaded on their computer. So to do it, just select this button and here within this link field, you need to put your downloadable CV files link. Even if you have created your CV on a PDF format, the first thing you need to do, you need to make that in a zip format. Just convert it in a zip file. And then you need to upload the zip file on this WordPress website. It's very easy. Actually, I'm showing it right now. First of all, you just need to go back to your WordPress dashboard. And to do it from here, click on this hamburger icon and click on exit to dashboard. But I want to open the dashboard from a new tab. So just right click here and click on it from a new tab. Here we go. This is our WordPress dashboard, but I want to move it to the left side of our Elementor page builder because I just love to work in a decorated way and it's my way. You don't need to follow exactly like this. So this is our WordPress dashboard and this is our Elementor page builder. All right, go back to our WordPress dashboard. From our WordPress dashboard, if we now just click on media here, just from here, click on add new media. Then click on select files and here I have made my CV in a zip file. So just select that zip file, click on open. So here is my cv.zip file and each file would have a link. And to get the link here on the right side, you see it says copy URL to clipboard. So I'm just clicking here to copy the link. Now go inside Elementor page builder. Now from here again, click on this download CV button. Now within this link field, remove the hashtag and paste the file URL. And that's it. Now whenever anyone clicks on this download CV button, that zip file would be downloaded on their computer. All right, so far so good. Let's now move to the next portion. So this area is basically for showcasing your previous works or to showcase your portfolios. Actually, the goal of any portfolio website is to showcase of your previous works or the portfolios you have made. And here you don't necessarily need to put the portfolios that you have made for your clients. Nope, you can put here any work that you previously done. That might be the work for your clients or you just made for fun or you have just made those on practice purpose. You can use any of your previous work within this portfolio area. And here on the right side, you can put any image that represents your project most. And you know, you can change this image by yourself. Also underneath this image, there is a beautiful floating effect underneath. So let's just keep that effect like this. I just want to change this front image. So to change it, you know, it's pretty easy. Just click over it. Now from left, let's select another image. Let's go to upload files, select file. And for the first service, I'm selecting the project one image, open it, insert it. And it's looking great. Now, if you want, you can link this title and you can link this button with any other page because after a few moment, I will show you how to create a single portfolio page. So you can create different single portfolio pages for each of your project. Like for this project one, you can create a particular page. For the project two, you can create another page. For the project three, you can create another page. 
because you cannot tell all the details from your home page that will take a lot of space on this page so here within the home page you can just talk about the summary of that project if you wanna tell more about that project then I will show you very shortly how to create a single project or single portfolio page very easily and you can link the single portfolio page with this heading and with this button to link that page with this heading just click over this heading now from inside this link field you just need to remove this hash and you need to insert your single projects link here same with this button just click over this button you just need to put that single portfolio pages link within this link field all right let's now go to the next portfolio or next project it's project 2 you know to change this image just click over it and let's choose the image I'm um, selecting okay just go to upload files because I wanna insert another image so for the second project I'm selecting this image click on open let's now insert it and here I just wanna share another way to showcase your portfolios like on the project one I already have said you can link them with a single portfolio page but let's say if you are a web designer and if you have a live link for your projects or for your previous websites then you can also link that on the header and also with this button like if I now select this heading so here let's say if you have developed a website for any client and this is the portfolio for that project then you can link the live link of that website like here I'm um, typing oops https colon forward slash forward slash that's one of the projects I have recently done that's for checkin.com and now I wanna do another settings just click on this gear icon because I wanna open it from a new window just select the open it in new window because just have a look this is your own website if anyone clicks on this and that will take them to this checkin.com so they will leave your website and that's not a good idea so here I have checked the open a new window so the website will open on the right window or the next tab okay I can just simply copy this link and let's select this read more button here within the link I'm pasting the same website URL click on the gear icon and I'm checking open in new window I hope it makes clear sense and you can do the same thing with your other projects if you want you can directly link them with your live project page or you can link them with the single portfolio page within this website I'm showing you that very shortly alright let's now scroll down with this view all button let's select it because I wanna link this view all button with the portfolio page so from here just remove the hashtag and here I'm writing portfolio here you go this is the portfolio page select it alright now let's scroll down here you can describe some of the fun facts about you or about your team like how many clients do you have how many projects you have done how many years of experience do you have and let me show you one thing if I select this one here instead of 50 I wanna put here 60 so to change the number you need to change that from this place and if you wanna add any suffix like here with the first one you see it says 100 plus happy clients so similar like that if you wanna say here 60 plus then the fact here okay first of all I wanna change this XYZ to any other thing so instead of this XYZ XYZ I wanted to say top reviews so that means I have received 60 plus top reviews from my clients so here instead of 50 I wanted to say 60 and with the number suffix I wanna add plus by the way I can see here 0 but it's supposed to say 60 actually it's a Elementor's glitch we can see this error within Elementor but when we will preview it on the live page you can see it fixed so for now let's just keep it like this and if you wanna change any of these numbers or any of these facts you know you can change them from here alright let's now scroll down this one is the very important area of a portfolio website that's your clients reviews or your clients testimonials so here you already understand if 
if you wanna change this image with your real client image you just need to click over this image and you can change the image with your client's image and then on the right side just click over here you can replace this with your clients real review so here I'm just pasting one of my clients feedback here and actually it was a pretty good feedback for a freelance developer like she said I work with many WordPress coders for the past 10 years and it's hard to find someone with this level of skill and strict attention to detail. He was excellent, did a perfect job and actually exceeded my expectations. I will hire him again. So actually I want to show off this feedback on my portfolio website because if other clients will visit my website and if they see this type of words some of my previous clients have said to me that will attract them to trust me and hire me instantly. So always try to put your best feedbacks from clients on your portfolio website. And here of course I have used a dummy name here but the feedback the client has given me her name was Daniel Dino. So here I'm writing her name Daniel Dino and underneath here I want a title. I mean I want to write the title here. So actually she was the founder of web casa design and again don't think it's broken it's actually squeezed only because of the left space if i minimize the bar from left you see it looks perfect so similar like this you can put another reviews here you can also change the image with your real client image all right let's now scroll down and this one is a nice call to action area okay let me just open the left bar always try to put a nice call to action button underneath of your page because when a visitor or client visits your website they are watching everything they are seeing the good reviews but they don't know what to do next that's why after your good feedbacks you must need to put some call to action area so they would know how to communicate with you so here you can write some good word or some converting word that will motivate them to hire you so here first it says let's work together and here i have put some dummy text you can replace this text with any other text by yourself and with this contact me button just select it i want to link it with my contact page let's select the contact page and to be honest, this card is looking kinda small, the texts are looking kinda small fonts, but actually it's not. It's looking like it only within the Elementor page builder because I have added some JavaScript effect here and we cannot see it within Elementor page builder, but very soon I'm showing you it outside of Elementor page builder so you can see the real effect. And then if you scroll down, this is our footer so you can change your logo from here and like i said i will show you very shortly how to create a logo like this then from here if you want you can change this text with your own copyright text and on the right side here we can see some social media icons again actually these are not broken if i minimize the bar from left you see this looks perfect so from here if you want to change these social media icons with any other icons let's say if you don't use linkedin of course you don't want to put linkedin icon here right or let's select the first one let's say if you don't want to use this icon just select it because you might not have your twitch maybe you have your facebook page so to change this from here you see the first one is twitch just select it and from here let's replace this icon with facebook icon you can search the icon name from here so here i'm searching for facebook just click on insert and then within this link field i'm putting here hash but instead of hash you need to put your facebook page url here so if anyone clicks on this icon that will take them to your facebook page so far we have changed the work to save all of the work we have just done don't forget to click on this green update button okay so on the home page we have just two things remaining let's just scroll up of this page like i said i wanted to show you how to create a logo for free i will of course show you that and i also wanted to show you how you can make your image i mean your portfolio image to a transparent image so let me show you one example so from here from within our images folder 
let's say you have your image that looks like it so you see this is not a transparent image it has a background color behind it so now if you want to make this image transparent how to do that and like i said earlier if you're a graphic designer you can do that very easily just by using photoshop but what if you are not a designer actually there are a few free resources by using that you can make your images transparent i mean you can just remove your images background and there are a few online tools for that one of them is remove.bg just go to your address bar and type remove.bg that will take you to this website and then another one is removal.ai but before starting using these tools i want to tell you another thing as we will be using the image in this place so your image should have a particular ratio actually it must not to have follow the exact ratio but if you follow the ratio i'm telling you right now then it would look absolutely fantastic on the banner section of your portfolio website so here my recommended size is 542 pixel by 816 pixel that means the width of the image should be 542 pixel and the height of the image should be 816 pixel all right so first of all i'm going to remove.bg and here i wanna tell you up front they offer only one image for free so just find your best image and then upload it to here and of course they have their paid plans so if you want to play with several images then you can take their paid plans but here i just want to save your money so no matter if you use the remove.bg website or the removal.ai website actually their format is almost same all you need to do just you just need to upload your image so here i'm uploading my image click on choose a photo i'm selecting this image that has background color with it click on open so it's processing here and here you go you see this image is now transparent and the background color has gone from this image and now here you can see two download button actually if you click on this top download button then you will get a comparatively low resolution file and if you click on this download high quality file then actually you need to pay them a few bucks but i want to use the free one because if it becomes a bit less quality i won't mind because i want it for free okay so let's click on this download button and it's downloaded on your download folder so from my files if i have a look yep this one is the file so if i open it you see there is no background color here all right let's close this and we can now go back to our elementor page builder now instead of this image just select the image let's now replace this image with the image that we have just created by using the online tool go to upload files click on select files so this one is the image selected click on open and then click on insert media and boom you see it looks very good on the top banner area cool but here i also want to show you another way because sometimes that free online tools might not work the best for you on that case you can hire freelancers who can do this job very perfectly with minimum price so to get that type of worker you can just go to fiber.com and from there the search bar i'm searching for background remove Oops, background removal let's search for it and here you see there are lots of seller who do this job only for five bucks so if i open any of their gigs i'm opening this one you see here they are showing some of their previous works examples so this was the image with background and they have made that transparent like this and the interesting thing is they are super affordable because with their first package it says basic 10 images cut out that means with this little five dollar you can do this background removal work for 10 images so for one images background removal you need to spend only 50 cent 
and not only this seller there are lots of sellers available who do this type of background removal work i'm not affiliated with any of them so you can choose anyone from this marketplace all right let's now go back to our elementor page builder and you see this image is looking good but for the moment i want to go back to the previous image so that was this image let's insert it then the next thing i wanted to show you how to create your own logo by using a online free tool so to create your logo for free there is an online tool i like that most that's logomaker.com it's actually logomaker without the e.com no worries i will put this website's link and the previous online tools that would help you to remove the background of your website i will put all the links in the description of this video okay so right now we are inside logomaker.com from there just click on start my design actually this tool is pretty straightforward it's super fun and super easy to use first of all if you want you want to use any icon there is a huge icon library so you can search for any icon there i'm just giving an example if i search for apple here just hit enter you see there are thousands of apple icons available on their directory all right but i don't want any apple icon here so instead of apple here i'm searching for design hit enter and from these icons let's select any icon actually i love this one so i'm selecting it and like I said, it's pretty easy to work with. You can move it to the right, left or anywhere of this canvas. And if you want, you can make it bigger or smaller just by dragging its corner like this. Or you can make it smaller like this. Also, if you want to rotate it, you see there is a rotate icon here. Just drag and move it like this. You see it's rotating. Like I said, it's super fun to use. Then if you want to change the color of this icon, you can do that by using this color wheel from here. Let's say if you want to change it to any other color, you can do that by using this wheel. Or if you have a specific color code, you can put that color code here. Like here, I'm adding 59D898. You see, that's our branded green color. Okay, now I just want to move it a bit left here. And now, right after that, I wanna use a text. So to add any text from left, you need to click here on this T. Now I wanna type here JFD. And like I said, you can adjust its size just by dragging the corners like this. And then you can change its font from here. You can change the font type from here. There are so many types like 3D or decorative or designer speak, or there are several types available. I'm selecting pixel and monoscape. And here you can change the font family from this place, like the cousin, or if you want, you can change it to any other fonts. But it looks super weird. So I'm selecting the audio wide. Then just click outside of this text and again you can move it to anywhere to adjust with the icon from left something like this. And here I don't wanna use this bluish color because if we go to our website have a look we need to put the text color to white color that will match with our website vibe. So let's go to logomaker.com we need to change its color to white color. So from the color picker, I'm changing its color to white color. Right now we cannot see the JFD text because the background color is white. Also the JFD text color is white, but trust me, it's still there. Okay, so we are done with the creation of the logo. Now to save this whole logo from the top right corner, click on the save logo icon. Now here, if you want a very high resolution file for this logo, then you can click here on this big download your files button. Then you need to pay them few bucks. But as we will be using this only on our website and we don't actually need very high resolution file. That's why just underneath that it says download low resolution PNG file. Select it. I mean click there and from here just check it so that means you accepted their legal terms then click on this download free low resolution file button so it's instantly downloaded on your computer 
all right let's now go back inside elementor page builder because now i want to change this logo with the logo that we have just created so select the logo now choose the logo go to upload files click on select files from here we have just created this logo so i'm selecting this one click on open now click on insert media and here we go now to save all of our work don't forget to click on this green update button then if you want a final preview our home page all you need to do just click on this eyeball icon to preview our page and here we go by the way at the top of this contact button it seems like it's cut off but actually it's not because right now as we are logged in that's why we can see this black bar at the top but when you are logged out or any other visitor cannot see this black bar so these buttons won't seem like it cut off so don't worry about it at all just have a look at our beautiful home page it's looking perfect the banner area then the next area the hover effects are looking great and here if we click on this download cv button our cv started downloading immediately cool let's close this now if we scroll down here we can see the projects or the portfolios also if you scroll down here we can see some circles actually it works with the scrolling so if i scroll to the top you see it's moving like this also if you scroll down here we can see another circle actually we couldn't see these circles from inside the elementor page builder because like i said i have created some design things that won't support within elementor page builder but on the real website you can see them and actually overall all this together makes a creative vibe on your website also if we now click on this view all that will take us to the portfolio page and here you see the beautiful animation with these fun facts also there are some circles and bubbles around it it also works with the scrolling and here we can see the beautiful feedbacks of the clients and then underneath here we can see the beautiful call to action area and here is our footer all right so right now our home page is looking great let's now create our next page really fast that's our portfolio page so let's go to our wordpress dashboard we can go to dashboard from here just hover over on the site name from there go to dashboard so here we are inside our dashboard and again i wanna make it clean so just open the screen options and i'm just deselecting wp forms and elementor overview so it looks much cleaner all right now from left let's go to pages to all pages we have made our beautiful home page now let's start working with the portfolio page click on this edit and then click on edit with elementor i also have made the page template for you so just click on this folder icon from here click on this import template icon and i want to tell you another thing sometimes this import template icon doesn't work properly on that case you just need to click here on sync library then you can see this import option but most of the time if you just click on this import template icon you can see these upload options okay let's now click on the select file button now from inside the templates folder go inside this folder for the portfolio page i'm selecting jfd-portfolio.json let's select this json file and open it and here we go it says jfd freelancer portfolio just click on this green insert button click on apply now here like the other page first of all i wanna make the page layout to elementor canvas so from the bottom left click on this gear icon and i'm making the page layout to elementor canvas so here from the portfolio page the first thing i want to do actually this is the same thing we have done on the home page so let's select these menus so from here with the first item i want to link it with our home page so select the home page with the portfolio one here i'm linking it with the portfolio page select the portfolio and with the contact just remove the hash and i'm typing contact here is a here it's suggesting the contact page so i'm selecting contact all right now let's scroll down actually this is the same design that we have on our home page basically if we go to our home page you see let's scroll down 
scroll down basically our portfolio page will have the same design the same format but on the home page we can only adjust here one two and three areas but you know you may have more portfolios rather than three that's why we have added here a view all button when anyone clicks on this view all button that will take them to this portfolio page so here not only three you can add as many as projects you want you might have done tens or dozens of work so you can add all your projects here so here is nothing to explain you can change all this image by yourself you can change all the text by yourself and here i just wanna show you another thing like i said earlier if you want to link it with any live website you can just select it and you can link it with any live website you can do the same thing with the buttons as well so that's pretty straightforward but let's say what if you want to link them with a single portfolio page on that case first of all you need to create some single portfolio page for example for the project one you need to create one single portfolio page for the project two you need to create another single portfolio page for the project three you need to create another portfolio single page so of course in this tutorial i won't create all the single pages for these but I'm creating two pages so by following that you can create all the single pages by yourself. For now with this portfolio page I'm clicking on this green update button to save our work. Now like I said first of all I want to create two single portfolio pages. To do it I'm going back to our WordPress dashboard. I'm opening the dashboard from a new tab. Again I'm moving the WordPress dashboard to the left side here. Okay, so to create the single portfolio page from left, let's hover over on pages. Actually, you don't need to hover over on it because right now we are on the pages state. From here, just click on add new. And let's say I want to create this page for the first project or for the first portfolio. So I'm naming it portfolio one. You can name it anything you want. So only to show you this page is for portfolio one or the project one so it's portfolio one let's publish this page click on publish one more time and now from here click on edit with elementor so here again i have created the template for you click on this folder icon just click on this import template icon i'm clicking on this import template icon but it's not working so click on this sync yep here we go actually this is the thing i was talking about a few minutes ago okay so from here click on select file and this time i'm selecting jfd portfolio single dot json this file select it and open it so here it says jfd freelancer portfolio single let's now insert it click on apply and here again the first thing i want to do from this settings icon i'm making the page layout to elementor canvas then change this links with real pages so for the home page i'm linking it to home for the portfolio i'm linking it with portfolio page not portfolio one the portfolio and for the contact page here i'm searching for contact so this is the contact page all right so this is our single portfolio page here you can put the big picture of your portfolio and you can write some other stuff about the portfolio because on the home page if i go back to the home page you see there are little space for single portfolios like here you cannot talk all the details about the project that's why we have the dedicated page for a single portfolio page here you can also talk about in which category i mean this project goes under which category you can decide that from here so if it's about app design you can write app design or if it's from any other category you can write that from here also the client if you do it for any client you can name the client's name here like here i have written check in corp if that's about any other client like web casa design you can write that and like i said you don't have to have your clients work here so you can just write here my own work all right 
now let's say if you wanna talk more about this project that you cannot write only within this area then no worries you can write more about your project underneath here so let's create a new container here just click on this plus icon now from here click on this red plus icon i'm selecting this row container you can give it any height if you want like this and then if you wanna give it any background color go under the style tab from here open the background type to classic and open the color picker i'm adding a dark background color here like this and within that just click on this plus icon and from here let's drag another text editor widget here so here i'm just pasting some dummy text like this so in this way probably you may write the case study or how you started with this project what was your process you can describe all the details here then if you want to change this text color you can just go under style tab from here you can change the text color to white color also if you want to increase the font size you know you can just go to the typography from here you can increase the font size like this and then with this text there is no breathing room so if you want to add some spacing or breathing room with this text just go under its advanced tab and from here i'm adding 40 pixel of padding like this or maybe 50 so it looks much cleaner and then underneath that here is a global call to action area you can again just link this contact me button with the contact page so here i'm typing contact just link it with the contact page so when you are done with this single portfolio page click on this green update button to save your work now let me show you how easily you can create another single portfolio page so to do it just go back to your wordpress dashboard now if we go to pages to all pages here you see we have just created this portfolio one page now you can just simply duplicate this page from here if we hover over on it as we have installed the essential add-on plugin so here we have got another option it says ea duplicator so i just want to duplicate this page now click on ea duplicator so here this one is on draft so let's click on edit and of course it would be portfolio 2 see oh here instead of portfolio 1 i'm writing portfolio 2 now click on publish click on publish one more time and then i want to edit this page by using elementor so click on edit with elementor now this one is the single portfolio page so you can change all the information that goes with the second portfolio for example you can just replace this image with the second project image or the second portfolio image so i'm selecting this image click on insert media now here under categories instead of app design i'm writing here ui ux design and then you can change the client's name from here and also if you want you can change all the description or the case study from here and when you are happy with your single portfolio page don't forget to click on this green update button and now let me show you how you can link these pages on the home page services so here again i'm going back to our wordpress dashboard and from here from the pages i'm going to all pages again here you see this one is the portfolio one and here this one is the portfolio two now first of all i'm opening the portfolio one from a new tab so i'm just hovering over on view and i'm opening it from a new tab also with the portfolio two i'm opening it from a new tab so this one is our single portfolio page for the project one and this one is the single portfolio page for project two okay so for the project one i'm just copying the url of the single portfolio page now let's go to our home page and you know from the top bar we can also go inside elementor page builder of the home page so click on edit with elementor now within the home page let's scroll down so this one is our project one so let's just select this heading you remember we have just copied the portfolio one pages link so go inside home page here within the link i'm pasting the project one's link 
also with this button i'm just pasting here the project one pages link again i wanted to open from a new window so just open the gear icon and i'm selecting open in new window let's do the same with this one so from here click on this gear and i'm um, selecting open in new window so let's do the same with the second one let's select this heading but for the second project that would be portfolio 2 so i'm just copying this url from here right click here and just copy it actually you can easily copy it by pressing command c from mac and from windows you can copy anything just by pressing ctrl c all right now i'm pasting the link here and i'm making it open in new window also with this read more button i'm linking it with the single portfolio page then don't forget to click on the green update button to save your work all right so we are done with our beautiful home page also we have made our beautiful portfolio page and also we have made our beautiful single portfolio page now we only have one page remaining so if we go to our wordpress dashboard that's the contact page so from here click on edit now here within the contact page you know we will be using our contact form so before starting with the contact page we need to double check we have everything ready for the contact page so again just go to plugins to all plugins so i'm hovering over on plugins from there go to install plugins make sure we have essential add-ons for elementor and wp form slide plugins activated now let's also check on the essential add-ons the wp forms option is enabled so from the essential add-ons for elementor go to settings go under its elements tab now from here go to the forms widgets area so here it says form styler elements from there make sure that wp forms is turned on then scroll down and click on save settings cool now we can go to the pages to all pages here is our contact page click on edit and now click on edit with elementor and here again for the contact page i also have made the contact pages template so click on this folder icon from here click on this import template icon click on select file now for the contact page i'm selecting jfd-contact.json this file click on open so here it says jfd freelancer contact let's now click on this green insert button and click on apply so here you know the first thing first we can change this pages link from here just click over there for the home i'm selecting the home page so here you go this is the home for the portfolio i'm searching for portfolio page here you go not portfolio one two just portfolio and for the contact page from here i'm selecting contact so this one contact page all right now from here you know you can change all this text this get in touch with me text also if you wanna write here something good just click over here and from left you can change this text with your own text now underneath this here you can provide your phone number and email addresses so let's first click over here on the phone number by the way have a look here here in between these two numbers this one is the first number and this one is the second number and in between them here it's written a html tag that's br br actually divides two lines so if you want to use two numbers in between two numbers you just need to write this simple br that will make them different line so here on the first number i'm giving my real whatsapp number and then the second number of course it's a fake number then if you want to change your email address from here just click over it again you see in between these two email addresses here is a br tag it actually splits these two lines so if you have one contact email you can just get rid of this with this br you don't need them when you are using only one email address and here instead of this i'm putting my real email address though i'm not using that email regularly but that's my email address that's jimfdigital at gmail.com 
let's just add another fake email address to look good i mean the design look good so here i'm pasting the email address and here i'm adding just 007 of course the second one is my fake email address and in between these two hit enter and here within the html tag i'm just writing br it will make them in different lines all right and then on the right side here supposed to have a contact form but we cannot see it yet because we need to create that contact form because here we can see just a gray line just click here or we can just click on this blue pencil icon you see there is a wp forms widget there that's why we can see a gray line but from here you see it says select form if we click on this drop down we cannot see anything because we have not created our form yet so now we need to create that form by using wp forms from wordpress dashboard so far we have done the work with this page to save it just click on this green update button now like i said from wordpress dashboard i wanna create that form by using wp forms so let's go to our wordpress dashboard now from our wordpress dashboard from the left menus if we hover over on wp forms from there just click on add new now here the very first thing you need to give your form a name you can name it anything but here i'm giving my form's name to james form all right now from here i'm selecting this one it says simple contact form so click on use template so here we can see the basic contact form like here is the first name last name option here is the email and here is the comment or messages field let's say if you also want to grab your visitors phone number from the contact form then from these fields you can select numbers so i'm selecting number you see here the numbers field has been added also you can just drag it at the top of messages here but I wanna keep this contact form sweet and simple so I don't want the numbers so to delete it from here click on this delete icon yes I'm sure click on ok alright let's now start with the name field let's select it and you know what I don't wanna make it complicated no first or last name field I wanna make it one single field so from here the format instead of first and last I'm making it to simple and from here let's keep it checked required because the name is necessary now let's go under its advanced tab here i don't wanna use this label so actually i wanna hide the label to do it from here let's hide the label instead i wanna use the placeholder so here you see the name and this one is the field for placeholder i want it to say full name so i'm just writing here full name and then i wanna do here another interesting thing like i wanna adjust the name and email field with the same line so half of the width will take the name field and half of the width will take the email field so to do it right now we have selected the name field from the name fields advanced tab from here let's click on this show layouts i wanna make this two column layouts so let's select it and for the name field i'm selecting the left column all right let's now work with the email field let's select it yes i want to make it required because if people don't provide their email address how would we contact them all right let's now go under its advanced tab and again i'm using here placeholder that would be email and of course i want to hide the label so i'm hiding label from here and then like i said i want them adjusted i mean i want the name field and email field adjusted within the same line i mean same row so from here click on show layouts let's select this two column and for this email field i'm selecting the right column we cannot see it action here but on our elementor page builder we can see that all right let's now select this comment field or message field of course i want it to be required now let's go under its advanced tab here the placeholder text i just wanna say it message and also i wanna hide the label all right now from the very left let's click on this settings so here the button text by default it says submit but instead of the generic submit i want it to say send to me 
and then let's click on this notification so here actually i don't wanna change anything but let's say the first field this one sent to email address by default it says admin email so the admin email you are using on your wordpress website whenever anyone fill up the contact form and click on the submit button you will receive that on your wordpress admin email address but let's say instead of that if you want to receive that email on any other email address for example here i'm writing gmfdigital at gmail.com so whenever anyone fill up the contact form and then they click on send to me button i will receive all the information on this email address but instead of that i want to receive all the email address that i'm using on this wordpress website as an admin and that's probably Elementor at jimfahaddigital.com. And like I said, you can use the best email address where you want to receive all the emails. And other fields, let's keep it same. Now from left, click on the confirmation. And here the default message, yes, I wanna keep it message. And the confirmation message should say, thanks for contacting us, we will be in touch with you shortly. So whenever anyone click on the send button, instantly underneath the form this message will be shown so if you want to change it with any other text you can change that from here but it's sweet and simple so i wanna keep it like this now from top right corner click on save to save this contact form all right it's saved so from the right click on this x and now we can go inside the contact pages elementor page builder now have a look if we now click on this select form still we cannot see any forms name here because we have created our forms here on the wordpress dashboard but to let that information know on the contact page we need to refresh it so let's now refresh our elementor page builder on the contact page and now this time if we select this gray area that's the wp forms area and now let's click on this select form drop down menu and here we go we can see our form name that's jim's form i'm selecting it and here we go here is our beautiful contact form so we have created our contact form without any problem now to save it from left click on this green update button and i forgot to make this page as canvas that's why we can see this heading from theme so make sure from here click on this gear icon and page layout i'm making it to elementor canvas and then click on this green update button to save our work now to preview this page just click on this eyeball icon and from here i just wanna check our contact form is working perfectly so here full name i'm writing here jim fahad and here email address i'm giving jim f digital at gmail.com and here is the message hey can you do a wordpress project for me question marks all right now click on send to me and yes it says thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly cool and as i'm the admin of the website so i have received the email let's open it you see it says the name is jim fahad and it's his email address and here he says hey can you do a wordpress project for me now if i want to reply him back just let's reply him so we are almost done with our website now i just wanna show you another interesting thing like i want to show you how to add fab icon with your website so basically the fab icon is the little tiny icon that shows at the top of your browser's tab so here instead of this generic globe icon i want to put my own custom fab icon so to put that fab icon throughout the all of the pages of this website we can put the fab icon from our theme customizer so to do it from here at the top you see it says customize click here on customize now we are inside the theme customizer from here from the left items let's click on site identity and here it says site icon basically this site icon is the fab icon so click on select site icon 
and for the fab icon always try to use a square shaped icon that means if your icon's height is 60 pixel that's width should be 60 pixel so if you use a square shaped fab icon it would look great on this tiny place so i already have created a tiny icon just go to upload files and i'm uploading that from inside images i'm selecting this image click on open and you already know how to create logos by using online free tool so you can also use any icon from that tool i mean the logomaker.com or if you already have your own fab icon you can just upload that on your wordpress website all right let's now select it and i don't want to crop it so i'm clicking here on skip cropping and here we go you can see the little tiny five icon here at the top now to save this work just click on this publish button at the top here we go and as i have made all the pages so they are super responsive for all devices just have a look this is the desktop view but if we go to the tablet view so we can also check the responsiveness from the theme customizer because on the theme customizer here at the bottom you see there is a tablet icon click on the tablet so this is the view of the tablet device so on the tablet device everything is looking great here this area looks great now let's scroll down each of these sections looks great on the tablet device all these project sections all the animation everything is working perfectly fine on the tablet device all right let's now check how it's looking on mobile device so from here i'm selecting mobile device on the mobile device everything is looking great here is the logo all the necessary links the dribble link the contact button link i mean the contact button and all the sections are looking really attractive on mobile device because the mobile device design is super important because nowadays more than 70 percent users come to your website through their mobile phone so always make sure your website is 100 percent responsive for all the major devices and when you're using my templates so you don't need to worry about it at all all right let's just go back to the desktop view now to get rid of this theme customizer just click on this x from the left top now have a quick look on all the pages and i want to show you all the pages from a new incognito tab because right now we can see this black bar so we cannot get the real feel of the website so i'm just copying the website url now from here let's open it from a new incognito window from here because on the incognito window we are not logged in we can see the same website that the whole world are seeing so here we have created our beautiful home page the banner is looking great here is the services section all the hover effects look amazing and here is the download cv button and here we can see all the projects all the circle animations are working perfectly also here is the view all button and here is some of the fun facts of ourselves. and here is clients feedback let's scroll down here is a beautiful call to action area and this is our footer let's now go to top and if we go to the portfolio page so here is our beautiful portfolio page with all the portfolio details here we can also see the beautiful circle animations and you know by clicking on these headings or read more buttons that will take us to the single portfolio page and then also we have created our beautiful contact page here on the contact page we have provided our phone number our email address also there is a beautiful contact form so they can write to us immediately cool so we have created our beautiful portfolio website very fast now please just go ahead and create your own portfolio website i believe you can land your very first client very soon if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this whole tutorial i will see you on the next video for now bye bye